Hi, my name is Dong. I'm an animator based in Japan. And working here, especially looking at the more cutesy shows that I worked on, there's an effect commonly called an airbrush involving a soft blending of color on the cheeks and other areas. And today, let's take a look at how to make that through the effect system in OpenTunes. Here, I have a drawing that I cleaned up. And as always, red marks the highlights and blue marks the shadows. For where I want the airbrush effect, I marked it with a green color. Now, let's color our drawing in. Check my tutorial on this if this is your first time here. Once we have everything colored in, we need to open our stage schematic. So go to Window, Schematic. Then we need to click this button on the bottom right to go into the effects view. You can tell we are in the effects view because it says so at the top left. Right click on our column, column 2 in this case, and go to Insert Effects, Tunes Level, Color Blending. And what this does is it creates the color blending effects module in between our column and the X sheet. We can see the output blue arrow of the column go into the input red arrow of this FX node and the blue output arrow of the FX node going into the X sheet. This is set up correctly, but in a complex scene, you might have to manually set up your nodes. So double click on our FX node to open up the settings. Here, we want to set up the color indexes. For example, I want this cheek blush to blend into the skin color. So I would take my style picker tool, select the color of the cheek, and then it selects it in the level palette. At the bottom right of the color it has a number, that is our color index number. So I would just write that number in, 45 in our case. I do the same for the skin, select it, and write the color index number separated by a comma. To see the effects, click on the preview button to render it out. It looks like an eye. So now let's adjust the settings. The intensity dictates the strength of the blending. I'll set this to somewhere around 35. The smoothness dictates the amount of dithering, so I like to set this higher at 75. And I recommend setting the no blending over other color options as this prevents bleeding into other colors. I have this other color here for the shoulders that I also want to blend, and again I will use the stop picker tool to select the color, 44 in this case, and just add it in after. And voila. We can also use this effect to create other things like soft shadows, for example. Since we would probably want a different intensity and smoothness value, I will right click on our column, insert effects, tunes level, color blending to create a new effects node. Double click on this new effects node. And again, we would set up our color indexes. So take the style picker tool, select the shadow of the skin, which is number 14. Select the skin color, which is number 13. For this time, for our intensity, we'll set it lower at around 5, and the smoothness the same at 75, and check the no blending option. And there we go, we have some soft shadows. Since we're at this stage, let's add some anti aliasing to our lines to make them smoother. Right click on the drawing and go into your level settings. Check the Add Anti-Aliasing option and set the softness up. You can play around with this value. 50 generally works for me. So now we have our drawing. Cute it. So you can obviously play around with this effect. For the soft shadows, I might also want to make the shadows of the hair soft, for example, as well. But there's a lot of different things you can do with it. Another common thing you see in modern shows is the highlights will sometimes have a soft edge around them, so you can do that as well. For this drawing, I feel it would probably be better without the soft shadows, so if I want to turn off the effect, I would just select its node and click on the eye button to hide it. Once we're done, let's go to our render, output settings, and render it out. Now add a background and do whatever you have to to finish up your drawing. So for our example, we only had a single frame, 
but the effect will apply for all frames in a column. So if you have other drawings in other frames, they'll all have the same effect. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something. You can follow me on Twitter and a big personal thanks to all those who are supporting me on Patreon. See you guys next time. Thank you.